a country change. Today we're in Croatia. Day one. We've come to the Plitvica National Park to explore the waterfalls and lakes. There was a massive queue for the um, ticket. So tip number one, tickets can also be bought in the tourist office. So you can yeah. bypass all of the queue, there are maybe two people in the tourist office. No one seemed to know that, even though there was a sign. As we enter the park, we head down the path that leads us straight to the first lake and immediately we're amazed at how clear the water is. Excited, we jump on the boat and head to the other side of the lake to begin the trail that leads us to the waterfall. The path is well built, well maintained and provides 360 degree views over stunning lakes and waterfalls. The only downside is that we're not the only ones wanting to see the views. So we're on the walk around the, around the lake. We took the boat across. That was really nice. Now we're exploring the upper part of the park. And it is beautiful. The water is crystal clear. It is a, a spectacular area, except for the thousands of people. But it's all worth it for these views. The Plitvice Lakes National Park is one of Croatia's biggest tourism destinations, which comes as no surprise, as it is the oldest and biggest national park in Croatia, covering almost 300 square kilometers, and has been on the UNESCO World Heritage List for 40 years. What makes the Plitvice National Park so outstanding are its beautiful turquoise cascading lakes, which by the way, cover only 1% of the total park area. This stunning area of lakes and waterfalls has been formed over a long period of time by a series of tufa barriers, which grow very, very slowly. The age of the active tufa barriers of the Plitvica lakes has been estimated at between 6,000 and 7,000 years old. Each barrier has its own growth dynamics, with some growing faster and others slower. To give you an idea, the average growth rate is around 10 millimeters a year. An interesting example of the difference in growth speeds is the sunken barrier in the Kozjak Lake, the biggest lake in the park. Some 400 years ago, the Kozjak Lake was divided into two lakes that were separated by a tufa barrier and a waterfall about 40 metres high. However, the tufa barrier at the outflow of the Kozjak Lake grew much faster than the barrier that separated the two lakes. This resulted in the raising of the water level, the barrier becoming submerged, and finally the combining of the two lakes. To explore this beautiful natural site, you can opt for one of the quieter hiking paths or for one of the eight main circular routes, which are well kept, mostly wooden paths, that lead you along the lakes, right by the amazing waterfalls and in many places even over them. They also include rides with the boats and the little buses, which can be a great time saver if you're in a rush. Top tip, check the last departure times. Somehow. We always end up being late and in a rush and once again we are running just to make it out of the place on time but we think we'll make it. Great. So we just realized that we didn't make it for the boat. We assumed that 6.30 would be the last one but it says 6 o'clock. So. so we're now on the wrong side of the lake with No idea how to get back.
Where is the treasure at? Mm -hmm.